Hello everyone, this is Bradley. Um, today this is another really tutorial, actually just a random chatting. I don't think there is a many important thing that I speak about, but anyway. So in the past uh, one week, although I have some time because I, the project just generally started, it's not, a, it's, it's not a moment that you will be killed by the design. So I was thinking to make a lot of tutorial, but I actually extracted my Western and T's. So I end up thinking, okay, I don't, I'm not in a mood to speak a lot in the, for the past one week. <laughs> and uh, that's why I didn't do many of these tutorials. I didn't do nothing either. I think, okay, let's just do some other stuff um, because I also have school and many other things. So I didn't do all these kind of things. Uh, but I do have plans actually, uh, not only for animation or tutorial, I actually think about making shader tutorials as well, a little bit. So I will do that very soon, because I'm in a very good mood today, probably, whatever. Uh, but before I actually head into more animation or tutorial and many other things, I would like to share this um, preset library file. It's, uh, recently I have many different changes on the, the entire development or whatever stuff. So I would like to discuss a little bit. On the Gumroad page, you started to have a last update. So it actually tells, oh, when this special library is updated. So if, so sometimes um, animation node may develop and my preset library may broke. So you know, oh, the update of animation node is later than the update of um, the, pre the preset library. So it's possible that it broke or whatever stuff. Um, and talking about this kind of version change, I want to like to remind you there is a very important thing. Many people also usually say, oh, my animation node is 2.2.2, .2, so it must be the up-to-date. Actually, this is wrong. This is very, very wrong, okay? Because um, it's always it always gives you a warning that this version is still in development. <laughs> what does it mean is that um, Almost every month we're committing changes to animation nodes. So even if the version says it's 2.2.2, .2, but the yesterday's animation nodes will be different from today's animation nodes. And so on and so forth. Many different things are changing. Okay. Unless you get a long-term release, otherwise very unlikely that animation node will be settled down. So sometimes if there is something broke or it's possible that something broke or whatever other stuff happened. One very important example is there is a, uh, there is a uh, evaluated spline node and it actually runs through a very huge update uh, in January. And we started to, uh, so basically the UI has been changed completely. Originally you have kind of little buttons little buttons at its locations to do or whatever stuff. But now everything has been changed and you start to have this matrix output. And to deal with all these kind of changes, I reconstructed, I basically have to modify the preset library and that's why we end up having 2.3.2, .2, if you ever remember or ever use that. Uh, it's a very important version that fixed a bug, which also means the earlier 2.2.1 will not actually work with my preset library release, and now 2.2.2 .2 will work with my preset library release, whatever. Kind of sounds confusing, but anyway. And uh, I also would like to talk about a little bit of background about this preset library release of 2.3 in general. So basically, the development of 2.3 starts in about November. Yeah, last year, November, it's a huge activity. I wasn't planning to participate in November because I was so busy, so busy, so busy, so busy. Uh, I was running on deadline almost every day. And, but I started to have several ideas, so I participated in that. And I realized there are so many things that I actually do. And there are so many presets I need to actually speed up my workflow. For example, as you have seen, you, you probably have watched my CPU tutorials. Basically, I made a lot of new nodes. I almost forgot what are they. <laughs> uh, triple the grids. Triple the grid is not actually a very huge thing. 
But there are many other nodes, for example, uh, future uh, spotless future uh, masking series, like the mask, uh, mask spotless mask vector mask matrices, and also the, the trim spline. There is a normalized trim spline. This is actually a very nice node. And I will talk about this kind of um, cases other than CPU. The reason I'm making all this kind of preset is not to uh, fulfill a particular function, or barely it's to fulfill a particular function. Uh, I want to make all this kind of preset generalized for not only one project, but many other projects. So there are actually many use cases other than just making a CPU. So I will discuss that probably later, but currently whatever. Uh, there's also other nodes, for example, array on splines, random points on spline. There's also a random point form spline, but it's currently not very useful. So basically, for I think I've shown this, but I don't know if you know. But if I use select these splines, it just take a 3D viewer. It just randomly generates two points on these splines. And by changing this parameter, you're actually flowing. And by decreasing the interval, you're actually generating more more points. So basically, this is how it works. Okay. I think it's some people proposed this. I don't know if this node will be really useful, but at some point, okay, whatever. Okay. It's just and it's infinitely loop, of course. But anyway, I don't think this is whatever. So basically, there is. A, I want to say is there is a development boom in this two point three. You basically have billions many new nodes. Which makes the file size very large, like uh, around 11 MB or something like that. And there's many new nodes. However, as a startup file, I think 11 MB is actually too large because if sometimes you just have a default cube, the file size is less than 1 MB. And because I'm having all this kind of preset library, I just basically 10 times all this kind of bullshit. And I don't think it's kind of very good thing if you're really getting into a very very real project sometimes the file size may be uh, like around 200 mb in certain kind of cases you probably don't still worry about all this kind of 11 mb sort of things in your in your file but i still think it's kind of very important because uh when you are actually working you usually generate billions billions of new versions like version one version 2, version 3, you're always having all these kind of changes. And this, even this 10 MB will accumulate until something like 1 GB or whatever stuff. And I don't think it's this kind of very nice thing. So I started to think, okay, let's just reduce this file size. So I started to delete a lot of nodes that I don't very commonly use. And that's why we end up 2.4. So why do I keep 2.3? It's just as a backup. Uh, in my a uh, long time ago, I've made a star generator, but uh, there is a the node that has no longer you can no longer see that node anymore because it's basically be killed. I don't think it's very commonly used, so I just kill that. So which you can find. So there are lots of new nodes that you can find in 2.3.3. But you won't find 2.4 because they aren't commonly used. Other than that, I don't think 2.4 currently has some new nodes. But it's just uh, how the file has to look like at this moment. There's other things that like uh, I think I may kill the tracer as well because I, I don't think we know we no longer need this. And uh, the organization of this entire thing has been changed as well, just uh, to fulfill all this kind of whatever, <laughs> whatever it needs to make it kind of look nicer. Anyway, basically what I want to say is, um, you can use either of them, because since you are not the actual user of this preset library, you probably won't really care the nodes that has been deleted in 2.3.3, because I don't even use them. So. I don't expect them to use them as well. So maybe keep the 2.4. But it does not really matter which version you choose. 
just to say that I no longer will update 2.3.3, but I will ever I will keep everything as 2.4. Okay. Anyway, so today this is just kind of chatting and the kind of notification about some more tutorials or kind of future plans. And that's all so forth. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I probably no. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll probably see you next time.